Yo guys, I'm sorry you already know that today we are back with some more Master Detective Archive Rain Code. Uh, we are about to enter the Mystery Labyrinth for the Nailman Killings. Um, I don't know, my voice is coming across kind of weird. <clears throat> it is earlier in the morning than when I usually record, because I have uh, a lot of recording to do and a little bit of time to do it. So I'm starting earlier than usual, so my voice has not woken up fully yet. Hopefully, that is okay. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I started from here because I remember stopping when the game prompted me to save, which means that as soon as they continue, we're probably going to just go into a cutscene to get us into the Mystery Labyrinth, um, where Halara is going to be joining us, which is new and interesting, and we'll see how that works. Um, but I'm looking forward to this. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts in this case, and I assume this is going to be a pretty long Mystery Labyrinth, so I don't know how many episodes it's going to end up being. Uh, probably a lot. But hopefully you are excited for the journey as I am. <clears throat> this already looks a little different. The Nailman is definitely one of the church people. Uh, and there's like four options. One of them is, you know, uh, very like pudgy and overweight and would have a hard time fitting in the small gaps and stuff. Um... And then one of them is like very obvious, uh, the the worshiper that like saw the body first like every single time. That it, you know it seems a bit on the nose that he would also be like the one to do it. So probably not. Uh, so in my mind, it basically leads down to two options as to who this could be. It could be the head priest, um, who just kind of looks creepy, um, or it could be the nun. Uh, just mostly because you know. There's been so many things about the nail man the 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 game could try and just throw a subvert your expectations and be like oh the nail man's actually a woman it just seems something that the the game could do especially since they had a whole thing about halara's uh, gender or lack thereof so it would be right along the themes that this game has already touched on um so it's uh you know i, I could see it either being one of those two and if it's anybody else uh, i'll be surprised but um let's go ahead and get mystery labyrinth thing Explain everything, won't I? But if you explain everything, then you die. We don't have much of a choice now. No point in keeping secrets here. Um, Halara? Let me explain. Okay, good. We don't need to try and sit through the awkward explanation. I do legitimately like that they sometimes yeah, just fast forward over some things that just don't need to be retread. The nail man killings materialized. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves, and the truth is encased deep within. I appear to have underestimated you. This is an amazing forte. Uh, this isn't a forte at all. I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. Um, to be honest, this isn't my ability. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the Mystery Labyrinth. I mean, or if you just know what a Shinigami is, I'm pretty sure you can infer what exactly she is. That's me! I'm also Master Scaricute Mentor. On to my next question. You're just gonna ignore me? You mentioned the nail man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the nail man case together. Yo, wait a minute. Is something up with your memory? The nail man. We were pursuing that case together. Oh. You don't remember? There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective, and you turned him down. I do remember you received a request from a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. Ah, oh, but the details of the case, you just don't remember now? The cost for hiring me was 5,500,000... Oh, of course you remember that. You remember the exact amount. But I can't remember what the case involved. I do vaguely recall investigating something. Well, as we go throughout the labyrinth, uh, maybe some things will jog your memory. My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. I wonder if this is just like a weird in-game in way uh, to make sure that nobody in-game like knows the answer. That way, like, as you try to figure things out, there isn't anybody like leading you to a certain direction. 
I don't know. I, I feel like that might be the only reason that uh, Hilari can't remember, like, specifically about the case. Otherwise, they'd be able to, like, react in one way or another, depending on what you answered about the case. Could that be... Yeah, it's because of the Mystery Labyrinth. The Mystery Labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. But Hilari knows the truth, and so they had to forget it. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. So, if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. That makes sense. This is the Mystery Labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. Yep, totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. Halara? Oh, don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. Yep. All people, not just you, because I'm pretty sure you're the only one that has received a nickname so far. Anyway, since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? I mean, that's kind of already what was happening anyway. That was as the deal. As we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as our original agreement. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Hey, Master, before we head into the mystery labyrinth, let's do that thing. Huh? What thing? Oh no, which thing? Where you puke up all the keys? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Yeah, I am. Oh boy. We have to we have to do the dance. I was like, I don't really remember this part. Oh right. <laughs> Oh, right, the sword. Duh, I forgot about that. We need that. How are we going to cut through obstacles and questions without the solution bleed? Silly me. This world is just full of surprises. Oh, don't worry. Just wait until she slices my neck open. I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth. You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. I better materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. <sighs> that was a lot. Here you go. There actually, there, there are a lot of solution keys. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? What? Should I use a different hole instead? Sorry, please don't mind her. All right, we're all set. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. This one has, it looks like, it looks a, a little bit different visually. I'm wondering if inside it's gonna look any different or if it's just gonna be kind of a retread of the same thing. No, this I looks kind of like a retread of the same thing. Through this mystery labyrinth will allow us to obtain the truth. But what happens to us if we can't find it? We're lost in here forever. We'd be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery. There was not one before. You can't just make this up. A what? There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. I'm assuming that this uh, time limit isn't actually going to be an in-game thing. Um, in terms of like something that we have to adhere to. It might just be a story thing. I'm, I'm kind of hoping. In other words, you die. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You should have told me this a long time ago. Oh, relax. Quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Isn't that right, Halara? It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. See? Listen up, Master. You might learn something. 
You're taking this awfully well, Halara. Oh, I can move around. I was like, uh, why are we stopped? Okay, uh, abilities. We want, definitely want to get those before we, uh, progress. We have 8 SP. So what, what do we even need? What do we even need? So, solution key selection. Okay, that could be cool. Uh, I don't really care much about changing the Shinigami puzzle. I feel like that's fine. Um... So this is about the puzzle. This is about... Nope, this is a lot of... Okay, solution key selection. Which one are these? These are just stamina. Uh... The accessibility recovers even faster. Slow down the speed of mystery phantom statements. Increase movement speed. Uh... Removing an incorrect solution key I think could be really, really nice. Over here. Let's let's actually just get all these. We should be able to afford them. Um, nah, I'm gonna just get a bunch of skills and then equip them later. So that's gonna remove a key, and then we yeah we we can just get this one as well. Perfect. Uh, all right, let's just go to. Is it status? Oh, okay, is it right here? Uh, remove skill. Oh, I have to set skills from in there. Wait, 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 wait. How does this work? Okay, that does not work the way that it says that it does. Um, when you're in the status. Oh no, never mind. I was trying to. Yeah, when you're when you. Uh, change here if you hit X or if you hit A to remove skill nothing happens if you hit X to remove all skills uh, you just exit out so that's uh, something all right so maybe I should just be setting them all yeah okay so okay so I can get up to 11 so if I set both of these oh I could have I could just equip all these so I think I have what do I have equipped my max stamina is up, and then I lower the assist recovery time, decrease repel words, and then lower number of solution keys. Okay, they sort of stack on top of each other. Okay, okay. So that should make this a lot easier, actually, which is exciting. So all the ones that I have unlocked are equipped. Okay, I forgot exactly how that worked, but we got it, we got it. Uh, I'm not going to bother going through all the solution keys. There's so many that let's just deal with them as uh, each obstacle arises. Are y'all gonna like banter with each other? Are you gonna talk? Are we just gonna like run into our first obstacle? Oh, we're just running into our first obstacle. Let's go. Oh, this is different. Okay. What's this? They seem to represent the four crime scenes. Okay. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. That's fun. Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your job. So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower, since it was the first one you investigated? If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth locked room mystery. Okay, so that's the way that we have to go? Fourth locked room. Are you going to the fourth locked room? I guess so. I might have been able to choose one of the other ones, but I don't know. If the game's going to guide me this direction, let's just not waste time and, and go in the way that they're guiding me. Instead of potentially picking a different one, having a conversation of like, no, Master, you need to choose this one. And just wasting time for no reason. This it's been a while since I've seen the clock tower. Clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head, you almost die. Ah, right. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. That's nice and convenient. The fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? Halara well, didn't get to look at this before, did they? That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the Nailman killings. What are the details of the case? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. I'm pretty sure you could count how many there are. 
Which means that's the corpse. Yeah. Oh, what gave it away? Also, lots of dolls nailed to the walls. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that nail man guy from the urban legend. Hence the nail man killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. I see. So the shutters were locked too. Yeah, but... This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from here. I remember the, the lock with the, the shutters being like pretty easy to open, and then um, if you close it from the outside, it automatically locks. Hmm. So it really is a locked room mystery. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here too? We transported here magically. I'm sure we'll transport magically out. What do you think? Oh, here we go. Where did the culprit flee from? I see. So that's how to make the questions of. <laughs> Alara really just does not care about any of this, I guess. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. Okay, where did the culprit flee from? I mean, I believe the culprit would have left from the shutters. Yeah, because you can open it from the inside and it can lock from the outside. The culprits must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Which means the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Uh-huh. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? It sure is. Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down. And once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. In that case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way. Right. Let's try it. Are we going to fall out? That's scary. The nail man killings have already been solved. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're Seth Bros, right. It's a mystery phantom. The people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us. You think the culprit really escaped from here, this high up? Yeah, I sure do. If you fall, you die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? You know what you should try giving it a try? A haircut. I think it would work really well for you. Wow. Oh, we actually fell out? Okay. Uh, there's no floor. There's no ground. All right, GG. We're falling forever. It's so simple. Burnt remains. Oh, sorry. That I thought I was like reading the name of the thing. Uh, dealing with continuous attacks. Press the correct button when you think you have the correct answer to the question. The mystery panel throws at you. Text to the cube combo. Be careful. You take damage if you avoid all assailing assaults. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're doing. The mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery. So solving it will get us out of this, right? Yeah. I, I think so. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. Like a ladder. Like a rope ladder? A tool? You should have found something during the investigation. I was helping you, after all. You must have seen the answer with your own eyes. Try to remember. I can remember. All right, we used to escape from the high location. Oh, that might have been it. Oh, I 
Oh, shoot. Wait, what did... Uh, hold on, I'm a little confused. Let's try this again. What did the culprit use to escape from the high location? So, yeah, it has to be the first one. It's so weird that it let me dodge the first one. Uh, and then I guess we get it wrong, you have to start over. Okay. Oh, tree this is did using the rope leave behind. There's footprints outside of the out of structure. Oh, that's not it. Wait, was it? The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rug marks. That was an accident. I did not actually mean to get that right. Oops. Those nails have been hammered in below the window. Oh, that's what oh, okay, that's what it like anchored onto, I guess. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. But what if it was? In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. It must have been It was like a rope ladder. What's that? I can't hear you. Uh, I mean, originally. Come on. Don't Safety don't line, rope ladder. There we go. Rope ladder. Are we falling up? <laughs> we sure are. Hey, we're back. Oh, now we can see the rope tied around the dolls like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I think. Yuma, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. You saved me, Halara. Correct. It's all thanks to me. Money well spent, no? Yeah, I mean money that I'll spend in the future. Well, it was a lot of money. Come on! Are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day? Let's get out of this locked room! Right. So this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. Mm-hmm. Ah, and the we're able to use it. Case are still unclear to me. Was How exactly are you getting it off the dolls once you're there? Like, can you just shake it and it'll just come off? That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. Uh oh, interesting. And that's how they made a rope ladder. Oh, so the they're not actually connected like that, which means that if you once you get to the bottom, if you just pull on one side, it'll it'll just sort of wrap around the dolls and it'll come down. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. What makes you so sure it was used here? Although this picture makes it look like the the la rope ladder is tied together, but seeing as this is not the real one, um, I think that's an okay detail to not be consistent. The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope, and had some yellow fibers on it. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below the window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking about it now. These were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. Mm hmm Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? Oh, okay. We're also going to tackle this. The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. By the time they reached the bottom... Okay. So it was connected, and then it ended up disconnected. Okay, that's different than how they were explaining it before. Single rope. But either way, it still works. Easily pull down. The window shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically, completing the locked room. It is sort of convenient that the shutter did not fall down until the culprit was at the very bottom. That doesn't make the most sense because I think we we noticed uh when we tried to do it that if it was at the top it just stayed up and if it was going to fall down it was going to fall down like very quickly uh so that one part is a little inconsistent i don't think it's the biggest deal um 
or also maybe it did fall down but because the rope was in the way you still had you still had like the the ability to pull the rope out from under it so um that could also maybe work yep that's a stellar deduction major props to me for training you uh sure oh hello you're back the culprit used that rope ladder to escape the clock tower what of it that doesn't change our verdict at all the watchmaker is the culprit yeah, i mean nothing that we said does potentially uh disprove that so now we need to try and uh you know prove or make our case to to prove that the watchmaker is innocent um but i think we're going to continue this on the next time so hopefully uh you're looking forward to us doing that uh if so let me know but i'll see you next time till then peace out